What's up, my dudes? I'm Lego Gun Builds, and this has been long overdue. Um, today we're going to be going beyond my sig fig and beyond the safe zone that you always see, and we're going to do a Lego room tour. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, I'm um, just starting off with the table. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been wondering, what is this? Well... It's a, it's a couch. It's a couch. So, um, yeah, I'm just chilling in my basement right now. You can see, uh, I'm working on Trafalgar Square over there. Yeah, and, uh, that's where all the epic gamer moments happen. Right over there. Okay, but anyway, this is the table where I record my videos. Uh, over here right now, I just got some of the mocks that I've built, um, for videos, like... My UCS Venator, just like stand concept design, and the Mordor skyline, and some of my mini builds. But over here is some stuff that you haven't seen before. Um, there's Bob. Here's Lego set of the week, um, number one, the ship in the bottle. I thought this just looked cool here. And right there, we have my Batman minifigure display. So. We take this off and open this baby up this is just random stuff um, stuff that helps me with videos there's my uh, spring-loaded shooter missile launcher thing in my spring-loaded shooter video there's some play-doh to help me with uh, stop motion um, there's some measuring tape to help measure Lego sets so yeah just stuff like that in there so yeah, that's just the top of my table. You know, it changes constantly with whatever I'm doing for a video or whatever Lego set I'm building at the moment. But there's a lot more happening underneath. So yeah, right here we have my old uh, spinner case um, for Ninjago spinners. So there's that right next Behind there, we got just various base plates. Behind that, we have just old uh, books and Lego magazines. So there's that. Over here, we have, uh, yeah, it's kind of dark under here, but uh, extra pieces in each of the sets and sorted weapons. I'll probably show you guys that stuff in another video. Um, right here, we have all the instruction manuals for the Lego Movie Saga. Right here, we got Marvel, we have DC, Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, Lego City, Power Miners, uh, Jurassic World, Dino Galaxy Squad, all that good stuff. Um, right here, we got brick separators, got quite a few of them. In there, there's just some mini builds, dinosaurs, um, at the very bottom, some Duplo stuff, actually. I never, I mean, my first Lego set wasn't even a Duplo set, so I'm not sure why I have those, but... You know, um, over there are just some creator sets. Here are sets that I'm rebuild rebuilding at the moment. So yeah, I got quite a few of them. And right here, are just, you know, me sorting bricks. So that's under the table. And then moving over here next to it, we just got some unsorted bins that I sort every once in a while just uh, into other bins that I'll show you again. And a little bit, uh, right there's a Lord of the Rings set that I do want to rebuild soon. Um, and then right here we got more cabinets. So um, we got the Ultra Stealth Raider from Ninjago. Um, the Lego Batman movie uh, Batwing. I love this set. Um, and right here we got just Matchbox cars. Uh, action figures and Star Wars action figures and stuff. Down here, we got some just uh, Lego City and regular-ish vehicles. So there's that. We have just assorted minifigures up here. Uh, this stuff is for my cousin who likes to play with Legos. Um, here's the TARDIS from the Lego Ideas set. Uh, Doctor Who figures, Lego Ninjago movie figures, um, animals, food. So yeah, just sorted stuff in bags there. Um, Lego Ninjago V2 
vehicles. Um, some I might take apart soon. Um, and I actually, that's actually a good video idea. Um, showing you guys how you can easily take apart your sets and not lose the parts and keep track of all of them. It's actually pretty simple, but um, here there's nothing there. And down here is just the uh, forge from Ninjago Season 7. Uh, then over here we just got, these are side builds and everything. Uh, under that are just sets that I want to take apart probably. And under that, there's a box underneath that, are Christmas Lego sets, which I will sh set up for you guys every Christmas. So you're just going to have to wait till November, December-ish. So here next to the shelves right there, or cabinets, um, there's just a little kitchen area in my basement. Like we'd use it for like, I don't know, a house party or a birthday party or something, put food here and stuff. But in the meanwhile, you know, use it for whatever. And, uh, you know, there wasn't really a better place for my May the 4th mock right here to go. So, you know, I, I just moved it over here. So, so yeah, there's, there's that. Um, moving over here, you got a um, charger so I can charge my phone for videos, boxes. I just keep boxes there until I get rid of them or or not. I don't know. Um, here uh, are Star Wars figs. Um, we're getting into the shelves and organization now. So here are my Star Wars figs. They're looking a bit shallow, but that's because I used so many of these of them on here. So, you know, I'll, I'll put them back in when I'm done, but I, I just like to keep this like that for now. Um, but you got Star Wars good guys, Star Wars bad guys. Then moving over, before we get to these minifigures, uh, just above here we have the Lego Ideas Ecto-1. Ecto-1, I did a set review on that. And then a Lego Creator car, I forgot what the set name was, but there's that. And then the Lego Ninjago movie Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon. Really like that set. Um, but moving down to these minifigures here, the top left is DC. The bottom left is Marvel. The top right is Ninjago Heroes. And bottom right is Ninjago Villains. Then beneath that, you have Lord of the Rings figures. Um, here you got wheels and treads. Here you got windows and windshields. There's brown parts. There's white and black. And then, at the very bottom, you have two unsorted bins, which, just like the ones over there, I just sort every once in a while, you know. So, there's that. So then moving over to these, before I get into all of these, I'll show you these up top. So you got the 1966 or 1960s. Bat Cave, and then next to that you got the Temple of Air Jitsu from Season 5 of Ninjago. So, starting off we got my minifigures drawer, which this is just to sort the accessories, and you know, you just got a whole bunch of minifigures, or parts, minifigure parts in there. Red, yellow and orange, green, I'll come back to this, blue, and light gray and dark bluish gray. So anyway, these two bottom ones. So they're instruction books. So in this one, I have, you can see on the side here, some of my um, Lego idea sets, my one Nexo Knight set, and some Chima sets. But most of these in here are Ninjago sets, and I sort them by how large the instruction manual is and by, I guess, release order or just um well i guess just what set wave it came out in so there's season 11 season 10 with legacy season 9 season 8 so on so yeah there's there's that and then over here i got star wars you guys were probably wondering where that was because you know I, the most lego sets i have is of star wars so i did the same thing here and you just got some creator sets over there 
All right, so moving on, we have this shelf right here. So starting at the top, we have the Saturn V. Pretty epic set, if you ask me. Um, yeah, and then right here we have the Lego Ninjago movie, uh, Ninjago City set, and I this is my biggest set. I love this one, uh, and I have the Golden Dragon atop it. I just thought that looked cool, and then that that's one thing. Um, before we go on, is that this area right here, I do have a lot of space right here that I could put stuff in, and I could probably move the Saturn V somewhere else, but I'm not sure where to move it, and I'm not sure what to put here, so let me got, let me guys, <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think should go here, um, in the comments, so right here we got Ninjago Dragons of all sorts, um, so we got the Fusion Dragon from Season 7, the Firstborn, Lloyd's Energy Dragon, Jay's Lightning Dragon, a small ghost or smaller ghost dragon, big boy ghost dragon, and Zane's ice dragon. And then here at the bottom, um, I'm not sure what to put in the middle. Also, let me know what you think should go there. Um, and these are, and just a disclaimer, these aren't all the sets I own. A lot of them I need to rebuild, and a lot of them, uh, yeah, just a lot of them I need to rebuild. So you guys can ask if I have a set, and I can answer that, and... You can suggest that I put it somewhere. So anyway, we got two of my favorite play sets of all time. You got the police gunship from the Lego Movie and the Rex Explorer from the Lego Movie 2. So I, I just love both these sets a lot, and that's about that. And in between here, we have a lightsaber. Um, not sure why. Just got Kylo Ren's saber in there. Um, but finally, we're on to the Star Wars sets.